I'm Tommy 80. The seven most important words in closing. Whether you're a salesperson or a sales manager, your number one goal is to close sales. Everything that we do up to that point is all just set up and prep, yet so many of us fail when it comes to this final step. In actuality, we fail approximately 75% of the time. You might be wondering how I came up with that number. Well, the industry average closing ratio is 18%. But I'm going to round it up to 25% to make everybody feel better. This means if 25% of our customers buy and 75% do not, then we failed 75% of the time. Now closing is asking for the sale and it can only be done once you've earned the right to do so. Why would you ever want to ask for the sale if all the value of your product hasn't been presented? Ironically. In our industry research, we teach some closing techniques that just don't make any sense. Doesn't mean we do it at my company, but it's done out there. It's happening. I can't tell you how many times I've asked a class of power sports salespeople what they say immediately after they've presented their customer with the figures to buy the motorcycle. And every time, most state that they were taught to say nothing. That's right. Uh, you ever hear, first one to speak loses? Saying nothing is not asking for the sale. It just opens the door to get responses that you don't want to hear. Responses such as, is that your best price? How much are you giving me for my trade? And then uh, the worst one of all, I'm going to think about it. Hate that. Now, there's some things that we've got to say. Now, come on. Remember what we're doing here. We're leading the horse to water. And we're leading our customer to the response that we want. All three of those are comments that you do not want to hear. Once you've presented the numbers, there's only one thing that you want the customer to say. And it's, I'll take it. But most aren't going to do that. Partly because we never ask them to. So why not just come out and ask for the sale? Ask the customer to buy the motorcycle, the side-by-side, -side, the boat, the RV whatever it is that you're selling. If you're the salesperson and you've earned the right to do so, no one's going to be mad or insulted. Your custom, the customer's not going to say anything. If you're the sales manager and you're coming uh, in for the close and the salesperson has made the proper presentation, most customers expect to be asked for the sale. So why not just do it? The seven most important words in closing are, which payment option works best for you? That's it. It's a simple, non-pressure, direct question, and one that is absolutely expected. You've taken the time making the presentation, you've taken the time putting the figures together, and now you've got to take the time to ask the customer which payment option works best for you. That's it. Seven easy words. Now, do you know what's so awesome about these words? Some people are actually going to pick a payment option. Those of you who know me personally have, or have been uh, to one of my classes or you're a regular watcher, viewer of my weekly sales meetings, you know I don't make too many promises. I do, but not too many. But in this case, I promise you, if you ask everyone from today forward after presenting numbers, you know, the right up, the right back, the four square, which payment option works best for you, some will come right out and they're, they're going to pick a payment. The cash buyers, some will point to the cash balance on the right back and other cash buyers, they're going to pick a monthly payment. And for those that don't, they're going to have an objection that you've got to find. Which payment option works best for you? We all know that there's one thing that uh, we all forget to do sometimes and that's ask for the sale. But if you develop the habit today of simply asking people which payment option works best for you, and you ask it every single time you present figures, you'll never forget to do it. I'm Tommy 80, and if you like this video, I hope that you hit like. Uh, check us out on uh, Snapchat, Instagram, Periscope, obviously YouTube, my website, Tommy80.com, and I really hope that we see you at a conference soon.